Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Given the situation where we have the sketch of function y equals to bracket x plus a multiplied with x minus b over cx squared plus d is given below, where we have the function and the graph. Find the value of constant a, b, c, and d, where we have the restriction a, b, and c must be greater than 0. So first, what we have to do is to find the x-intercept. Kindly refers to the graph, we have the x-intercept when y equals to 0, the value of x is equal to negative 2. And when y equals to 0, x is equal to 2. So kindly substitute the situation into the function where we have y is equal to x plus a multiply with x minus b over cx squared plus d. So just now we mentioned this is the x-intercept, means that when y equals to 0. So 0 is equal to x plus a multiply with x minus b over cx squared plus d. Kindly cross multiply the situation and we will have x plus a multiply with x minus b is equal to 0. So x will be equal to negative a, x will be equal to b. So kindly refer and compare the situation. And we notice that the value of a is equal to 2 instead of negative 2 because they mentioned that a must be greater than 0. So same goes to b, it is equal to So kindly rewrite the function. So now we have y equals to bracket x plus 2 multiply with x minus 2 over cx squared plus d. So after we determine the x-intercept, now we are going to determine the y-intercept. So in here, where we have the y-intercept is 0, 4. So meaning that when x equals to 0, y is equal to 4. Kindly substitute the situation into the function, where we have 4 is equal to 2 multiply with negative 2 over c multiply with 0 squared plus d. Cross multiply the situation where we have 4d is equal to negative 4 and d will be equal to negative 1. So kindly rewrite the function. So now next info is to refer to the vertical asymptote where we have two vertical asymptote named as x equals to negative 1, x equals to 1. So, if you want to find the vertical asymptote, kindly refers to the denominator where we have cx squared minus 1 cannot be equals to 0 because it is a denominator but we have to write down equals to 0 in order to find the vertical asymptote. So based on the situation, here we have x equals to negative 1 and x equals to 1. So x plus 1 multiply with x minus 1. So based on the situation, we expand and we will have x squared minus 1. So kindly compare the situation in order to find the vertical asymptote. So in here, we note that c is equals to 1. So from here, the value of a is equal to 2, value of b is equal to 2, value of c is equal to 1, and value of d is equal to negative 1. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe.